Oh, you think I'd learn? Oh. Hello, this is Uncle Jim. Uh, just a quickie video on how to make a very cheap uh, bench rest block that's lightweight and waterproof and costs you almost nothing. So we all know what these are. These are the kind you can buy, but the problem I found with them is they're a little thin and a little wobbly, okay? And the wind can blow them all over the place. And they work, they're nice. Uh, so what I do is when I find these cheap, like this is from a thrift store. So this is about the size of the other one here. Okay, it might be a little taller on this end. And that was a dollar, but uh, found these for three dollars on clearance yoga blocks and they're durable and uh, super lightweight uh, so I wanted something more stable more stability so I glued I glued two together with a hot glue gun didn't take much you know just do your thing and then step on it for a minute until it cools and uh, I wanted different heights and I was gonna do this end also for higher because I'm either shooting up a mountain straight on or my bench is tilted down so I have a low and a higher and then I can do one here so without me knowing about it uh, my son took it out here and he said don't use a saw it'll probably grab just use a knife and so he used a knife on here and it it looks a little raunchy uh, but it works and it's fine I just went out just now. I'm, I'm going to have to talk to him about this. I just grabbed a saw next to my toolbox, just any saw, and that cut like butter. It didn't grab. It was nice. I did a sample. It's going to have some roughness on the sides, but that's good. It's grabability. So pfft, use a saw. If you want it finer, use a hacksaw. I don't know. But uh, one thing you want to do is make sure you got a nice 45 degree angle, whatever. Uh, what you can do is just take two pieces of wood, do your 45, and do a jig on each side so you're lined up. He just marked it, knighted it, and did a good job. So his cuts are good as far as uh, 45. So this is for lower shooting. This is for a little bit higher. And then if I need to go even higher... I'll get the saw out and do a little one here. Well, I do it this way because you want you want the width. And now this doesn't rock, okay? Even though it's light, it doesn't have a tendency to rock. So we'll give that a try in the next video or whatever. But a uh, little glue gun, and these are three bucks a piece. So this was six bucks. And you could leave it in your car if you go to the range. It weighs nothing. This has no weight to it. And it's waterproof and it doesn't shred. It's pretty durable. And if you do yoga, well, you can do both. You can put your arm in here and do stre stretches. Whatever. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video on this uh, before I put it in the garage. And there you go. You get all the heights you need. And uh, I'll test that out maybe today. And you can also find them at the thrift store, but they might be a little stinky. They might smell like yoga sweat. Who knows? But there you go. You can also do the rear. If you want a rear V-notch, you can take a smaller one, cut it in half, do a V-notch there. You can't really squeeze on it like a bag, though. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and helpful. Uh, for just a few dollars, you have a nice block that... It's not heavy or obnoxious, and I guess that's it. I would definitely use a saw. I just grabbed any saw, and that, that was, I don't know. It has a better pattern, saw pattern, whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, America.